Hey there, Taurus Gemini, and welcome to your love reading for the month of February. So today, uh, since it's a love, it is a love reading, we're going to look at a connection that you may be dealing with. Uh, keep in mind that the roles could be reversed as the general one, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it doesn't resonate, you can definitely check your individual signs. Gemini had um, Taurus energy in it, uh, so you may want to check it out if it doesn't resonate, or even if it does resonate. Um, but if it does resonate, please give it a like, subscribe, comment, share, anything you can do to help support this channel is really, really appreciated and welcomed. So I would be very grateful for that. <laughs> and over on Instagram, we have weekly readings and for private readings, the link is down below for the sunnyvirgo.com. All right. So connecting with your energy, I was getting, you know, those like red berries. I don't know if they have like a specific name, but, um, I was getting, it's, it, they were looking pretty nice, you know? I don't like berries, but they were looking quite edible. And they were looking good and stuff like that. But I was kind of getting that we may be dealing with a suck up with someone who's just trying to make you feel very comfortable and very, oh, you're so beautiful. And no, oh, this is so great. And bullshit. We'll see where this goes, but I was kind of getting that they may be hiding something, okay? And that could be an ex, okay? And true love could be coming in. Look at that. So, really be careful around that ex, okay? There's really something here that you need to take a look at, that you need to be pay attention to, and that you should um, just take in consideration, you know? Especially with this inner child. Someone may be very, very childish, okay? And... I kind of feel like you deserve better, okay? But let's see, let's see where this goes. I mean, I may be wrong, but let's see. All right, that was pretty quick. We have um, stargazing and fairy spotting, okay? So following your intuition when it comes to this connection, definitely feel like we could be dealing with a third party over here. Um, but definitely following your, your intuition around that. And with that fairy spotting, is what it says is it's time to go fairy spotting it said that seeing is believing but in fact the opposite is true believing is seeing and what you need to believe in is that true love is possible okay we have this magical blessings you're definitely receiving a lot of blessings with that true love and i kind of feel like there's this thing of maybe if i let this ex go if i let this person go then i won't find anyone um better i won't find anyone who's I don't know. Like, I'll never find any like this again. And maybe you won't. Maybe you'll find something better. Who knows? Okay? But let's see where this goes. What do we got going on for my Taurus Geminis? So, bottom of the deck, we do have the Six of Cups. There it is, that X. Okay, something from a past, hangman, some stagnation, and now after a lot of stagnation, a lot of movement comes in. And I feel like it's that thing that, I mean, I don't know, maybe you need to close yourself out in your house or something like that, you know? Or it's just, I feel like there's the, this need of some healing, especially with this death card over here. There's some need for healing, for doing things in a little different way, so... Like, taking a look at yourselves. And I feel like in this case, it's more about this person taking a look at themselves and seeing if they are really being honest about what they are saying. Because I kind of feel like they may say a lot, but not do much. And it's time for that end. Okay, even if this true love, it's the same person. I feel like they can't be the same person. Because in the past, they were very childish. In the past, they were very... My God. <laughs> my dog. Holy shit. Um, but, and I kind of feel like it's sort of like a warning. Hey, pay attention, be careful, because I feel like they are still a little bit in that past energy. And let me say that they are different, let me say that everything's fine now. Is it, though? Is it? And I kind of feel like you may need to be a little bit wary of that. But let's see, for your side, we have the Three of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Pentacles, and a lot of Pentacles energy, I'm not surprised, and we have Strength over here. So I do feel like you are resisting a little bit, possibly focusing a little bit more on your finances and career, 
but with that three of pentacles i do feel like you do want to work things out you do want to make things um better and you do want to grow things and you do want to make things right um but i, I also kind of feel like this person needs to step up their game because otherwise i feel like you're not really there um we have the six of pentacles for their side ten of wands and the seven of wands so when it comes you could be dealing with a um a fire fire earth cusp so aries taurus sagic uh or leo virgo but i feel like they are refusing to look into their emotions because with the six of pentacles i do feel like they are a little bit better than what they were in the past, but there is still a lot of resistance and a lot of stuff from the past that it's preventing them from moving forward. Devil in the past, clearly. We also have Capricorn energy here, but I feel like that is just the energy overall of like, um, there, there was so much toxicity. I feel like they were a bit of a narcissist I feel like they didn't really respect you. I feel like they only appreciated you and only like realized what they had when you were gone. You know? And now I feel like they may try to come back and they're not that different. They're a little bit better, but they're not at a point to meet you. You know, because you have some major icon here and I feel like you're going through big changes in your life. You're taking control over your life and they, all they have is ma minor arcana. Not even a court card, just minor arcana. You know, they are very like low vibe and you, I feel like you are a little bit more high vibe. Um, and also with the Three of Pentacles working with your higher self to create stability. And I just, I just feel like they are not there yet, quite honestly. But let's clarify some stuff here. Um, let me see that three of pentacles. If you are wondering about your career, um, the monthly reading the, the, uh, at the beginning of the month was about career, so you may want to check it out, okay? But we have the King of Cups, the Page of Wands, and the Empress. So there's definitely this wanting to create something new, to create something better. I do feel like there's still some emotion here. Um, but there's this need of freedom. Possibly in the past they were kind of controlling. And now you're more in the Divine Feminine where you know your worth. Doesn't matter if you're a male or if you're a female. You're more in Divine. You do also have that Divine Masculine over there. But... Uh, with that empress really screaming out, it's like, I know my worth, I know what I need to do, and I know where I need to go. And I know what I deserve in terms of a relationship. And I feel like that is showing them that, yeah, I mean, I could go towards a new beginning, but things need to be different. Those burdens need to be healed, need to be put down, so then we can move forward towards a new beginning. All right? So, let me see this 10 of, whoops, ones. What else have we got about this 10 of ones? We have the page of pentacles, the three of pentacles, and the ace of wands. I feel like they just want to move forward towards new stuff and not really look at the past, really look at what they did, look at what they were, and just, you know, forget about it. No, it, it never happened, you know? And I feel like that is not healthy. And that is not making you feel that safe, I feel. And I feel like they are trying to ignore that. Let me clarify that devil. Try and figure out, um, get some more information around that. We have the Page of Cups, Hermit, and the Moon. So I do feel like they were not... Um, Virgo energy here again with that earth um, but I feel like they were not very expressive of their feelings they were not very vulnerable and whenever they did something it was like oh I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry you know bad behavior toxic behavior oh I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry it's not gonna happen again you know bullshit because then it's a cycle then it kept it kept happening over and over and over and over again and it's they refused to look at why that was happening to look at what was that behavior? 
You know, I feel like they never blamed themselves truly. They would they will they would apologize, I feel, but they weren't blaming themselves. Oh, it was something that happened. It happened one time. You did it. And I feel like they never really took responsibility for it. And the thing is, now we have some court cards. What are they? Pages. Childish energy. Okay, pages are children. And I feel like you were above. We have that Empress energy. Like, you are so high vibe and so in a good place. And they're still in a very low with a very childish mentality. Let me see the seven of ones. I feel like they are a little bit attached to their independence and to um, I don't know being with themselves and feeling like they would lose something but they at the same time they know what they lost which was you the amazing person that you are someone very strong and determined someone very confident and very gifted too um, because I really feel like you're making good progress in your career. If you don't feel that way, I kind of feel like you could be close. But I definitely feel like they, they want a new beginning. Because now they realize what you were and what you are. But at the same time, I kind of feel like they are in a place where they realize that you may not take them back. So let me get some information about your career over here. Yeah, I kind of feel like you may be feeling a little bit lost about um, where things are going maybe you're not seeing a lot of rewards maybe you're feeling like what you're doing is nothing like you, you're not getting uh, what you expected but with the six of pentacles I do feel like a lot of balance could be coming up okay there could be some fears that you need to overcome over here and how can you do that by connecting with this ten of cups by connecting with the love that you have for what you do okay and I definitely feel like it could take a little bit but I actually feel like it um, it is worth all your time. All right. So let me see here. I want to pull some more romance angels. <laughs> wow. Okay. So we have getting to know each other, bottom of the deck. And I kind of feel like it's... The starting over, you know, I feel like this person needs to grow up a little bit because they're very in the passion and very in the, oh, let's just have fun kind of energy, childish energy once again. And I feel like there is this need of starting over. It is safe for you to love and soulmate. This does have potential, maybe not right now. Okay, I gotta be honest because I like the, the energy that this person is showing up with it's not very, it, I feel like it doesn't make you feel secure, you know? So, messages and advice here for my Taurus Geminis. I definitely feel like there's something around your career that you may want to do, or that you may need to do, but you're kind of scared of doing it. Okay, um, but let's see what we have over here. We have stop, wake up and go now. What are your dreams telling you? You could be receiving messages through your dreams. Let go of control. Everything is unfolding how it's supposed to. I'm worth more and work that ass off. I really feel like it's about you knowing your worth. You already are in that type of vibe. So look at this person. Look at them in the eyes and see what who they are right now. Also see the potential, sure, but see who they are right now and know that you are worth more, that they are not at your level yet, okay? And I kind of feel like there's this need of letting go also in your career, letting go of your fears and trusting that um, everything is going to be okay, all right? With this work that ass off, I definitely feel like... Uh, there's, it's not that you're procrastinating, not at all. I just feel like there's this change or this move that you may be preventing from doing, maybe holding back from doing, and I really feel like it's needed here, okay? Let me um, get some more for career, please. 
anything else? All right. So this could be a dream from your childhood, inner child, and protect your dreams. Um, could be a, a a dream from your inner child, something that from your childhood, something that you've always wanted to do, um, and you're kind of not really doing it. Okay, there's some healing that needs to to happen, possibly around your childhood too, where you may have been judged. Okay, if this is not a dream from your childhood, it is beliefs around that. Okay, that are preventing you from reaching your fullest potential. Okay, we also have divination. So you could be literally uh, also dealing with tarot uh, or just any other divination form and or healing. We also have healing over there. Um, but I just, I just feel like you, you need to see where you are right now and you need to clearly see what your blocks are. Really like journaling a lot, okay? Meditation a lot to really reflect on where you are, all right? Because I really feel like there is something that you were not doing and that you should be doing it's like it's that essential step for you to reap all the rewards from what you're working on okay so to finish this off let's get some messages from this person my god so Uh, we have I see future with you, bottom of the deck, and we also have here Will You Be My Lobster, friends reference, um, which is about like they want it for the big time, okay? And funny enough, I'm sorry, there we go again, you know, karmic cycles, patterns, toxic cycles, okay, toxic patterns that need to go. I love you, I do feel like the emotion is there, but they gotta need to grow up. Wait, please wait. Uh, will you be my lobster? They really want to be with you. Uh, want to make love with you. Want to be with you in like the long run, okay? Committed relationship. You are my one true love. I won't hurt you anymore. You are enough. My dog misses you. And I'll buy you a gift. Okay? So they really want to make it up to you. They really want to... They regret what happened in the past a lot and now they miss you and then they want to be back with you and it's up to you i'm worth more though okay really keep that worth in check okay my dog agrees <laughs> so towards gemini this is what i have for you i hope it resonated hope it helped if it did don't forget to smash the like button for me to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in the next one bye bye